So this is Peaches, and she's a guinea pig that I adopted yesterday from Austin Guinea Pig Rescue. And um, I picked her because I was told she was pretty calm, or really the way they put it is that she's a slug, so I don't know exactly what that was gonna mean. I was kind of hoping that it meant she was pretty confident and not really scared of much, and, and that's really what it's turned out to be. She's, she's really been um, curious and investigative, and she's let me pet her and scratch her little chin, and she's been taking food quite well, and she doesn't try to hide all the time, which is really cool. So I think she has a really good chance of being a good candidate for training, but the real question is how is she going to get along with my other guinea pig because what I've learned from the guinea pig rescue and also doing some research is that guinea pig introductions don't always go so smoothly in fact it can be pretty ugly sometimes so I've set up everything and I'm going to show you that setup here and we're going to see if we can introduce guinea pigs and see how it goes wish me luck because I like this guinea pig and I'd like to keep her Okay, I'm all set up for my guinea pig introductions. What I've got here is a kiddie pool that doesn't have any scent or smell of another guinea pig on it. I've also got a fleece that's brand new and clean and nobody else has been on it, so there shouldn't be any guinea pig smells on it. I've also got lots of treats and hay and food that they can engage in, and hopefully it'll pair good stuff with the presence of a new guinea pig. And if things get really exciting, I've also got a little camera right here in the middle of the action so we can see what that looks like up close and personal. But I've got my fingers crossed nothing bad happens and I hope you do too because I really want these guinea pigs to get along. So I'm gonna go get the girls and let's see what happens. Okay, here comes guinea pig number one. So that was a little interesting. I didn't expect Lucille to be so scared, but she's really pretty scared. Obviously, Peaches is pretty confident. But Peaches is not trying to attack her, which is good. I kind of think Lucille's not going to do any attacking. I like that. That was pretty good, checking each other out but not getting too uh, aggressive or anything like that. Obviously Lucille is still not too trusting. Ooh, but she did go eat something, even with peaches right near her. Little butt sniffing, that's okay. So I just tried to give a treat to both of them so that they both have something good to eat while they're together. Try and pair some good stuff there. You saw a little teeth chattering from Peaches there, so she's being a little bit of a tough girl there. I know Lucille really likes uh, melon, so I'm gonna make sure she gets some melon.
So the other thing I have in case things get really ugly is this. If I need to separate them, I don't want to stick my hands in there if there's some real serious aggression going on. So peaches got a little tough, so I'm prepared. I'm ready. So another thing I did is I made sure that I did this early enough in the day that if I needed to go to the veterinary hospital, I could, and also that it's a day that the veterinary hospital is open. But so far, even though it's been a little tense, it seems like it's getting a little bit better. Hope so. So Peach's attacks seem a little less fierce, but I wouldn't say they're buddies by any means at this point. So there's no way I would put them in a cage together at this stage, but I am gonna keep trying some introductions over the next few days. And um, we'll see if that helps them become buddies. <laughs> 